Lovely. Out the back. Oh, love the hands. Here we go. Over the top. Oh, Rappi. Bye. Last week, I said the Connacht versus Leinster game was played in dry conditions. I was wrong. Of course it was soaking in Galway. I'm a fool for thinking otherwise. Let's see if I can get any of the Irk news right this week. I'm sure the Bulls would be very happy if no one ever mentions the Rainbow Cup final ever again. They have now properly beaten Benetton home and away and will be hoping to put that cursed final behind their backs. Benetton are no pushovers this year, especially at home. For the Bulls to have put 44 points on them must be applauded. But now I can also ask, where was that second half last week or the week before that? Hey Bulls? Hmm? Hmm? The boys in blue now head back to SA with at least something to show for their tour and will no doubt turn into frothing pit bulls once they feel the touch of their beloved Loftus grass. Benetton get to go back to their display cabinet and admire that trophy. In the other Friday night game, Connacht hosted the Scarlets in what looked like a wet Galway. It looked wet on the YouTube highlights, okay? So we're going to go with wet. <sighs> Anyway, Connick beat the Scarlets with Aussie hair icon Mac Hansen scoring twice. And the Scarlet season is looking basically over. Zebre hosted Edinburgh in the first Saturday game. And unfortunately, all their early season promise seems to have evaporated by now. Edinburgh showed they have even more junk in their trunk and released Wes Hoerson in their overpowered back three. He immediately scored a try in a large away victory for the visitors. Next came a massive game with a massive crowd. Leinster hosted Munster in what looked like an almost full Aviva Stadium. Munster is slowly improving from their dire start at the beginning of the season and they look like they should be able to be Connacht now. But Leinster gone a Leinster and they put on a good show in front of their massive home crowd. You love to see it. The next big match was Cardiff Rugby hosting the Stormers in Cardiff the City. This was a very entertaining back and forth match with neither team willing to let go. In the end though, two penalties from Cardiff were the difference. Worryingly for the Stormers, well placed attacking kicks found grass on two occasions and led to tries for Cardiff. They will have to try and plug that gap because there are some very educated boots in the other Irk teams. Peeps are going to be crossfield kicking against them all day long. The last match was a Sunday Welsh derby. The Dragons welcomed the Ospreys and totally whooped their butts. And these weren't some flat, skinny fat butts. These were some well-worked, thick butts of a full-strength Osprey side. Annoyingly, two games were postponed this past weekend. We missed out on the Lions hosting Glasgow at Ellis Park and on the blockbuster game of the Sharks versus Ulster. Both Glasgow and Ulster fell foul of the foul Durban water and could not field fit matchday squads. Both these games will have to be replayed at a later date, probably during some kind of international window, which will weaken Glasgow, Ulster and the Sharks. The Lions should remain unaffected. They field mostly gigantic children in their squad. The Irk, eh? Never a dull moment. Whoa, is that the news? What happened to them? Hmm, the Women's Rugby World Cup in New Zealand has finished its group stages. The last group match was the final indicator of the difference between a fully pro and mostly amateur rugby team, with the women's box getting turned into a fine mist by the Red Roses. SA Rugby, please invest more. The quarterfinals are set now, so let's do some quick predictions. France versus Italy will be close, but France should win that one. Hosts New Zealand will probably hammer Wales. England will have a tough fight against Australia at the start and then probably pull away. Canada will probably get past their neighbours, the USA. Hey, the Autumn International Series is back and it's starting this weekend already. Scotland will be hosting Australia and New Zealand are travelling to Japan before it all really kicks off in November. There are so many good games coming up. France versus the Springboks, England versus New Zealand, Wales versus Argentina and Australia versus their medical team. Lots to look forward to. And finally, I'm not very good at this YouTube thing. Otherwise, I would not have planned a holiday right in the middle of the Autumn Internationals. But I have, so here we are. I will be taking next week off to go to Durban and see if the stomach bugs are really as bad as they say. I might be back the week after. I might be dead. Who can say? All I can say is that that was the rugby update for this week. I will see you all at some nebulous future date. Bye. Pray for me. Bye.